Hi, David McIntosh, paediatric ENT doctor. I'm just following up from a post I did about grommets and wanting to talk about grommets and swimming. Now, as a starting point, please be aware this is not advice directed to you. This is just general information and you need to discuss this with your doctors. The reason for that is there are different types of grommets and there's different issues in terms of water quality in all parts of the world. So I'll show you with you what I tell my patients, but then you need to discuss it with your own doctors. So first up, I tell patients they've got to keep those grommets dry for a week. We've just done an operation. We don't want anything getting in there that could contaminate things. When it comes to swimming in general, we usually advise people to stay clear of dirty water. So things like creeks and rivers, dams, they generally speaking are not the cleanest of water. You never quite know what's going upstream and the like. So as a general comment, really don't uh, suggest that swimming in those sorts of environments is a good idea. When it comes to swimming in swimming pools and the beach, again, as long as the water's clean, a lot of kids will be okay. Now the question comes as to those earplugs. Now the research shows that earplugs are not 100% waterproof. As best as we try, we just can't quite get things perfect. And that's the world that we live in. What's interesting when you look at earplugs is how many kids actually might need them. The research shows that around about 10% of kids will have their ears being a problem in terms of mucky fluid coming out at times with grommets. So that's the grommet doing its job. And it seems that the rate of that problem is pretty much the same in kids that swim with earplugs versus kids that swim without. Now of course if your kid is swimming without earplugs and having lots of problems, they need help. But if you're struggling with the earplugs or your specialist has said they don't need earplugs, this might actually be okay. So go back to the source, check with your specialist, see what they've got to say, and do a little bit of research. See what options are out there and get a better understanding of the fact that there are different types of grommets and that different people use different grommets for different reasons and they will therefore give you different advice about swimming. So I hope that helps. Like I said, it's not specific advice, just a little bit of background information and I hope you can use it to your advantage to help with your kids. Have a good day.